destination, Stone Tower Temple. Wahaha! Uh, that's quite obvious. I guess the song inverted time sounds kind of derpy. Well, it is, it is supposed to sound kind of like a music box winding down. Mm-hmm. All right, on we go. Conic Canyon. Beware, folks. Uh, I just say I. I got confused trying to figure out where the boss door was in the dungeon. I mean, uh, yeah, this, this 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 particular dungeon will mess you up direction wise. So yeah, two hours. You uh, you, you were warned in the last part. <clears throat> Excuse you. Sorry. And apparently, apparently, I end this run with twelve hearts at the end by the end of this dungeon. Huh. Although you can get a full heart container by doing the 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 mass trading. Uh yeah, at the very end of the world. Well, unfortunately, I don't do that. I yeah, get... getting the heart pieces in the final uh, mini mini dungeons is quite painful, I get... especially for Darmani's dungeon. I get two of the heart pieces though. Just so people can know where they are. Me. <laughs> Welcome to my favorite bit of music in the entire freaking game. Aside from the last six hours theme, that is. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Here he comes. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to remember the notes. There we go. The Elegy of Emptiness. <laughs> Let's leave him there. We can't. Uh, ow! Where'd that come from? From above! Yeah, right overhead. <laughs> I, I, I didn't even see it coming! That's what she said. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, I just couldn't resist that one. Okay. <laughs> and as you can see, we have... Wee! We, no, we have pretty much all the all the masks available, uh, except for the last two. Oh, wait, I'm like... Oh. No, idiots. This dungeon is not what I would call intuitive. I will admit that. Okay. I, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I do have to apologize for my misconduct in the previous video, though. I get testy when people interrupt uh, our recordings. Mm. Which is ironic, because uh, Uncle Terry was actually in a couple of my Terraria videos. <laughs> By my own, by my own handiwork, no less. Yeah, those Bemos eyes act like bombs. <laughs> now we play the Elegy of Emptiness here. But as which form? Well, obviously, human. Yes, do 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 do. Yes, we need this song for the entire temple. Yeah, meaning creepy totems. Uh, what the hell? I was standing on that, right? Oh. You moved the totem that was on the other switch. Yep. Oh, wait. I, oh, right. 
<laughs> I'm probably gonna have no comment for like most of this video, I think. Eh, I probably I, will. Why is that? Mostly because you are, judging from what I'm seeing now, you're going to be making lots of rookie mistakes. Well, then again, it's been quite a few years. years. Yeah, I would like, uh, I'm in your defense, I would like to think my skills haven't degraded as badly as I'm seeing here, but uh, I'm not going to try and fool myself. It probably would take me, take me a little bit to get back into the groove. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, people say riding a bike is something you never forget. G games I've played that I enjoyed the hell out of, like this one, I picked them back up after years very quickly. Damn. Um, wait. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> but, yeah... There's probably gonna be. We're probably just gonna go off to random tangents during this dungeon because it's <laughs> just gonna be. Uh, oh, hi there. Hello, Billy. Macau. No, that's not Ben. That's just the Zora totem. I said Billy. Oh, that works. Like, like Billy go. Uh, oh yeah, you've heard it out one video, right? Uh, uh what video? I think, I think, I think I know what GM's referring to. He's referring to the totem. Ben Drowned. Also known as the Haunted Majora's Mask Cartridge. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I had a feeling that was it. Yeah. I have not seen it, but everyone I've spoken to it's either really derpy or really freaking terrifying. <laughs> and now, somebody, hi. Oh my! He even has the scar on the stomach. Yeah. From where he hit a rock, falling to the bottom of that pit. Yep. <laughs> you know, it'd be more realistic if we actually got knocked out. During um, a tether, huh. it, it takes me around 25, 20 minutes or so to climb this tower because it's really big and really high. Oh yeah, this, 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 this. Thankfully, they give you an owl statue once you reach the top. Mercifully, but that's not the half of it. In fact, what we we'll cover like the first. First, uh, 40 minutes of the temple is only the beginning. Yeah, <laughs> this, this temple has two sides to it. Yeah, just they're... like a coin. Actually, yes, it is just like a coin. And just like a coin. like a coin. Yeah, flipping it. Uh, sorry about the key mashing. I'm climbing a really steep hill. Uh huh. If for some reason, whenever someone clicks keys like that, it's hard for me to be heard on Skype. I don't know why. I, it's just a little bit of recordings I did. It, it huh. tends to be that way. Uh, That's why I had to retake uh, Digital Car Battle, starting on starting this either Sunday or Tuesday. Hmm. I am, actually, I am actually glad I finished that game, well, at least the first, at least the main story of it. Did you ever see that video I posted on, in the chat about uh, the final boss? I don't think I clicked it, sorry. Uh, but yeah. Digimon is not my thing. I, I, you know, but yeah, cheater. 100% cheater. It doesn't help that uh, we gotta face someone similar to that in the second arc of the game <sighs> in, of Digital Car Battle. 
But in, ter in terms of this game, this game actually does pull a 180 on you. Yeah, when you get to the mo when when you get to the final uh, boss area proper, <laughs> quite the mood whiplash. Not just that, but uh, the fact that uh, well, let's just say that things are meant to, to some entities, things are meant to be used and then thrown away. I'll leave it at that. Okay, this was rather pointless. Mm. <laughs> Hi! Hi, Ben! <laughs> you don't say hello. Not if you value uh, your sanity. <laughs> what sanity? <laughs> Precisely. Sanity no longer exists. Ow. I meant to. F okay, this works. Kamikaze! Sorta. Of. Oh, there go the bombs. Whoa! Whoops. Oh, there you go. Here's the bombs. <laughs> hmm. At least there was footing. <laughs> Stupid, you know, stupid camera freezing the boulder in place while the while the while the cinematic camera moves. Huh. I, it gets you every time. <laughs> ah. Hello. All right. Yes, I think in terms of that of Link's double, we're gonna call him Dink. Mm. Yeah, this is going to be a very slow dungeon. Very. This, I think this was one of the reasons why I was hesitant to do this game in particular. Because yeah. This dungeon can really be slow. What made it slower? Getting all the stray fairies. Hmm. Oh, yeah, the stray fairies in this particular dungeon are really <laughs> aggravating. Again, why else do you think I was hesitant? Nope, not in range. Nope. <laughs> like a stunt man. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Whoa, we're, we're clipping through the void and, and all that. Sure. See, I hate when N64 games do that. Because I remember it happening in um, the N64 version too. Hmm. Yeah, the camera work is uh, actually that. That reminds me. I remember one time when I was actually fighting uh, Puppet Ganon in Wind Waker. I actually got uh, dur during one of those weird camera angles. I actually got blasted through the wall. Ouch! <laughs> I glitched through the wall and was standing outside of the room. Wow. <sighs> well, so, well, today's word is brought to you by the letter C for convoluted. <laughs> convoluted, crazy, and whoa. <laughs> No, convoluted, crazy, and downright uh, cringe-inducing. Yes, quite. I could, I almost, came, I could almost could come up with another C word. So, <laughs> I guess that'll have to do. All right, where to next? 
Well, so we're going up. Hey, Ding. I'm sorry, but <laughs> oh, I think this is, this is the last uh, way up here. Yeah, to the right, actually. There it is. Zora mask. Don't worry, another nine minutes and we'll get to the dungeon. Only to get, only to almost pull our hair out. Yeah. This, Ow. this is what we call dying time, folks. In, oh boy. in short, this is where we have almost nothing to talk about. Yeah, this is the dead time. The dead zone, as it were. Except we cannot read people's minds. Well, it was the guy didn't read minds. Uh, no, 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 don't want them. You could have climbed up there. But yeah, I think what I think around ten o'clock in the morning we actually get there. I remember this. I was looking at my footage very fast. Yeah. So another oh another eight minutes or so. Of course, time freezes whenever we're in the menu or whether we're. Um, one of those camera pans. And yes, I had to use an FAQ for this, because quite frankly, again, this dungeon's boring. <laughs> to think, there's to think there'd be a dungeon more boring than a water dungeon. It's almost unheard of. <laughs> I guess this game broke the norm. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I just have a habit of pre pressing every uh, switch, every every floor panel, and doing this. Don't worry, we'll get there. Although, seriously, why couldn't Nintendo come up with a better idea than this? Uh, padding. Padding, 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 and no note, no legs. And our money. But there, but there are knives. Well, that's because he was already a ghost whenever you picked up his uh, soul. No, he was so making. No, he was making a. He was making a Sukuya reference. Yep. Wait, what? I can't. I can't believe you didn't catch that watch. Or... Probably because I'm distracted right now. Uh, by the chat. Yeah, kinda. Yeah, I. I'm looking at it too. But what did you say? I, I said, notice, no legs. You also said no pads. No. I, I, I don't remember that. I don't remember saying that, but whatever. Maybe you misheard me. Hmm. Either that or I heard Watcher say something about pads. Wasn't me. I honestly don't remember. Yeah. Oh well, someone's gonna correct me. Well, we'll just wait. Oh, look at that! They're, they're already spawning through the walls. Yeah, they're supposed to be coming out of like hatches, but uh, N64 graphics. And and yet they they were supposed to have restructured this for the GameCube. They did though. And this was the best they could do. This is why we need a remake, a proper one. None of that fake trailer BS. <laughs> Okay. Where do I go next? But yeah, it turns out we do need to go up there, but I wasn't sure 
where exactly I could have a grapple point. Hmm. So I try this. Nope. Yeah, that's not showing. So, um, since we're going to be going through a boring dungeon and stuff, why don't we talk about something to alleviate our boredom? Ah, here we go. Now we can grab a lawn. Like what? Uh, I have no idea. I don't know. Like, um, how, how was your overall week? Uh, well enough. Dad had, <coughs> Dad had an accident with the gas pump uh, just uh, an hour ago. <laughs> Yeah, and by the way, folks, if you're gonna complain about us talking about nonsense, non sequitur stuff, suck it. <laughs> and there is the owl statue. We never have to do that again. Thank God. Now, so summon the golems. Or should they? Or could they also be homunculi? Possibly. Possibly. Except, uh, without any, um, murderous intentions. <laughs> and, versibly, without any alchemy. Oh! Uh, thank you for, <clears throat> thank you for the healing. Uh, turns out I only needed the one fairy. Yeah, I mean, as complex as the dungeon is... It's more tedious than difficult. Yeah, I mean, the, the enemy. Aside from like one or two anim enemies and uh, enemy placement in a few rooms, the dungeon is pretty easy. It's just very long. The mini bosses also are painful, though. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember who they were. I know there's the Garo Master, and there's another Wiz Robe. The last one, mercifully. Wahaha. <laughs> Um, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna look it up on the Zelda wiki. Meow. Mm. But mercifully, we do get the light arrows here. Whoop. So, which means we won't have to worry about enemies from the dark ever again. And by that, I mean undead enemies. Uh, what the... What the hell? What just happened? Oh, oh right! As you move the totems, the switches they were holding down are, uh, released, and the blocks move back to their room. No, 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 not that! Not that! It's something else. Uh, someone made a... Someone made a jack... a, a lantern. A jack-o'-lantern? With, uh, this particular image. And welcome to Stone Tower Temple! Yes. <laughs> that is awesome! You're like time on your hands! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh well. Oh yes, we also get to see an old enemy we haven't seen since LTTP in this dungeon. You remember the Igors? Oh yes, the giant uh, Cyclopean golems. Yep. I didn't know their name in LTTP, but yep, they're uh, they're Igors. Igor. <laughs> Meh? Igor. Igor, Igor. No, it, it, it's pronounced Igor. I know. But no, don't don't compare Igor to him or them. <laughs> the, I then, 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 again, I... then again, it depends on which Igor you're referring to. I'm <laughs> just saying how the names were similar. Ah, yes, uh... Oh, what the fuck? 
What? As luck has been updated. Okay, thank you. I don't care. What? Yeah, I had an ad block update earlier this morning. Uh, ad block plus the uh, ad killer pr uh, plugin for Chrome and Firefox. Uh huh. It updated today. Great. Well, that is legitimately good. But yeah, there is a very particular deadly mini boss in this um, dungeon. Gomez. Yes, a Goma derivative who is very ag vicious and aggressive, and you will need the light arrows to kill him. Mm -hmm. Well, in order to like, shoot away his bats. Wait, they call it bad bats in this game. <laughs> There's a chest on the ceiling. Well, what do you expect? I told you, we gotta flip the dungeon around. Yeah, I was thinking, oh yeah, that's right. Oh, I need I need bombs. What can I say? Oh well. <laughs> Even while I'm carrying a, a box, I'm running fast. And that's how you do it. You do the shield, and then you drop it at your feet. Come on, get down here. Hello, Mister Wright. Let's see. Oh, here we go. The that's big the switch. Only Darmani has the way to drop that one down. Yep. But yeah, in order to defeat Gomez, you need either light arrows or plenty of bombs. But yeah, apparently, uh... Uh... Bad Bats. Yeah, they're, they they represent the keys, or at least they're just like keys, but they're larger in size and more black and with a more black color. <laughs> and of course, I believe, uh, yeah, pretty much keys have appeared in pretty much ev well. With, with the exception of Zelda 2, every single Zelda game. Huh. Yeah, in all mainstream Zelda titles, even the ones we don't talk about. Anyway, dragonflies. Don't understand what, and Kuwais. I don't understand why we're facing these opposite so, so weak enemies. Okay, I think we're gonna need a bomb. Mm. Bomb like. I still find it funny that you called them bomb chews at Twilight Princess at first. But then turned out they were actually called bomb lings. Yeah, I forgot. Oh well. They basically were bomb shoes, though. More or less. <laughs> anyway, uh. Okay, yeah, basically you need Darmani. Or you could just use the, the hook shot. Oh, what? Not enough range? Weird. Oh, yeah. That's like the most annoying sound in the world coming from you. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I, why that, why, how come that reminds me of Dumb and Dumber? Because that's where it came from. Yeah, exactly. Hey, want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? No. <laughs> guys, guys! I <laughs> know, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, I mean, I was really was thinking of Dumb and Dumber when I said that. I'm sure you were. 
guys, I haven't seen that film in years. I still remember that. Same here. Hmm. Oh, there's a hook shot thing up there. There we are. And there's a chest. Straight berry. It's your second one. Uh, you picked up a first one? Yeah. I must have missed it. Hmm. Um, and because... Uh, let's see. Yup, because I can. <laughs> Pull yeah. up! Pull up! Armos! Bitch, please! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, oh, that, wow. that, that, that was my plan. For this! Nice. Alright. And it is a small key. Wonder Bomb! Yeah, it is very wonderful indeed. I say Wonder Bomb. I know, that's German. <laughs> yep. Okay, now we can use a small key to unlock this. Oh, don't fall for it, don't fall for it, Darmani. <laughs> <laughs> now is not a good time yes. to do side. Yes, in um, contrast to the previous temples, this one makes you use all of your forms. Which is quite nice. Even, ah! This was, this was, I did this on purpose. What was that? So I can do this! A small key! Hmm. Uh, yeah, I was just going back with the FAQ to him because I hate, 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 hate this dungeon. Even though I may have called it fun to play earlier. At one in one playthrough or another. Nope. Not. No. Not. 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 I've remember. Not. I've played it recently. I changed my mind. Yeah, it's not gonna be a straight fairy in those pots. And of course, once we uh, flip this room around, the water will be all drained. Because the worst, worst the wall, the water gonna go to the sky. Yep. Hehe. <laughs> Shields up. Oh, really? Oh, come on, blow up. Go away. There we go. <laughs> and that works. Eh, I'll take it. Oh boy. Uh... Yep. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna have to come back for that one. Hee <laughs> hee. All right. And of course, yep. We're gonna need Deco Link later. <laughs> Time swim back up. Oh great! I know what's gonna happen later. In fact, I remember there was one particular room I did not like in this dungeon. It was so annoying. I think this 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 is a precursor to that. Oh joy. Oh great, another chest on upside down. That just it just keeps getting better and better, don't it? <laughs> Basically the room I'm referring to has a couple sunblocks and many mirrors that you need to reflect the light off of, make the, the make the mirrors absorb the light and quickly quickly transfer said light to another mirror before it fades. Problem yes. Problem. There are white bows all around. Mm, and the and it will constantly respawn. Yep. 
This is what frustrates me pretty much the most about this temple, apart from the flipping. Yeah, you gotta do it for a lot longer than what you're doing. Ooh. Just barely had enough. Ooh, the compass! And a bomb shoe. Eh, bam. <laughs> I, I, think I, I think I just did a, a backwards jump. You did kind of do a moonwalk jump there. Alright, and uh, um, this ain't the room, it's, we're back in the, the main room of the temple. I think I'm kind of saving that key I've got, oh wait, maybe not. Well, at least we got the compass, that's the important thing. Let's see, I believe it's in this room. Yep! Here we go. This is the room. If you want, folks, go ahead, cook something, come back in about maybe. Actually, come back. Yeah, actually, come back around the end of the video, the end of the video, to see the boss fight if you want to. Okay, there's black bows instead of white bows, and they will constantly respawn. Or, or? <laughs> this is sound like boa pins makes whenever I freak him out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see what I mean by respawning? They always are. They are probably doing that due to it being a trap. No, they're not. Oh. Yeah, basically, yeah, again, you need to send the light all the way to these sunblocks. One. Mm. Very. And by very, I mean not very much. Like a horse. Come on, you stupid, stupid little things. Come on. Uh, this is the quickest. Oh crap! The shield moved. Huh. This is what I hate. Ugh. This is this takes a while, folks. So if you want to, go make a sandwich. Huh. Yeah, probably for the best. In fact, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cook some, bur cook a couple burgers, then I'll get back to you. Right. Like well, I say, folks, this is this is definitely the water temple re redefined and not quite so waterish. You know what I blame? I blame the fact that the shield is in such an awkward angle. And the black bows. In fact, the black bows approach me so much I had to constantly run or at least in order to avoid them. Alright. Maybe I can do this one first. This is the easier of the two. And there we are. How about that? And it leads to who in the best? Who in the best? Uh, it's a you have the straight bear. Ah, ah hi. That big Goran. Uh, boy. Okay, I'm gonna go cook these burgers now. I just give me arrow. Yep. Well, right now I'm doing the Dawn Guard quest line in Skyrim. It's actually proving to be quite fun. 
Okay. You get crossbows. What? Don't get too carried away. Whatever. <laughs> Basically, I mean, you, you get crossbows. I mean, for the whole of most of the, the Elder Scrolls you've been playing with bows, you get crossbows for Dawn Guard. Nice. And you can upgrade them using a as part of the Dawn Guard quest line, and you can get advanced. Uh, you can get enhanced crossbows that'll ignore half your enemy's armor. Really effective. Cool. I'm trying to remember who Akuma is. Uh, Akuma is that really evil. Uh, uh, guy from Street Fighter killed M. Bison in uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Oh, I thought they were talking about the like evil dude from Samurai Jack. No, 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 that's just Aku. Ah, uh, that's right, Aku! <laughs> uh, we're laughing at stuff from the chat. I do feel bad for Adam. This is, this is, uh, this particular puzzle is just balls. No kidding. To the wall. <laughs> Seriously, again, I really hate this. So, what kinds of stuff have been humoring you guys? I'm playing Skyrim, and Hearthfire and Dawnguard injected new life into the game for me, to be quite honest. And the dudes in the chat are talking about Link versus other evil characters. And basically, I, uh, a friend of mine, a friend what? of ours, keeps pointing out that there. Perhaps... Ooh, close! You almost didn't get it. But yeah, uh, a guy keeps pointing out that the Master Sword makes any fight against an evil character game over oh, for that character. A Nezeron. A Nezeron. And they consist of gunpowder. Nice. Red Ruby? Yeah. But yeah, thank god we're finally done with that area. Don't want to do this. Man, don't want to do this again! But now we gotta do this! Oh, this is probably the least fun part of the Stone Tower Temple right here. The Deku segments. <laughs> because, mostly because of the fire. And yeah, these. if you fall, you have to do the whole thing over again. Yeah. We're... whoops. Back it up! Whoop! Back that thing up! Yeah, I already lost this. We're burn. Ouch. Burn, baby, burn. What? Yeah, this will help. These uh, these uh, air tunnels will give you a slight bit of extra wind to use, but. It's kind of <laughs> That's why that's there to screw you over. Oh, oh. you almost made it out. And not enough I saw the sky. <laughs> yeah, I said it too. Again, the void. Oh, yeah, down there is actually a Goron pressure plate. I want to do that first. And get these goodies. Our fifth stray fairy. Do you see a pattern here, folks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 
Yes, you just magically sprout up your deck of flowers. Whoops. Oh, knock my door. Knock, knock, who's there? Lucy, I'm home. <laughs> Oh, that rat stalked him. Yeah. <laughs> it was a. It must have been a fan. Mm. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, there is. A, what? You had, a, you had a stalker bomb you. Yeah, well, it'll stop you no matter what. Even if you're a Goron. Mm. Yep, got princess, and it'll be the night of the first day. Yeah, I think we gotta do this to unlock a door. Whoops. You keep bouncing off of crap. Yep. Yeah. Well, I can't just run. You gotta be a little more controlled, though. Well, it's hard to do so with such narrow passage space. I just love how it makes those cracks in the lava. I know, what do you expect? There we go. Ah, to make that chest a bit usable. And we don't have to do that ever again. Whoops. But now the hard part. Oh, oh look at though. There is a way to get back up here. The ladder. Yep. Yep. Well, I did say we have to use all three masks. And even a fourth one. Well, the fourth one is optional. True, but it doesn't hurt. Oh, hell no, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> How'd you know? You don't know. I can tell by the way you guys are talking. I'm gonna make a gamble. I'm probably not gonna make it. No, I just didn't. I just barely didn't make it. <laughs> yeah, it's set up just perfectly. And note, it, when it's actually nighttime, it actually shows here. God, pretty much hug the wall as much as you can. And avoid the bomb shoes. We, whoa, whoa, oh, you almost did it. Back it up. Back it up. There we go. Number six. All right, I think we're gonna need to be uh, human for this one. Oh, just rupees, really? I said the mini boss. Ah, oh, I hate it when I'm right. Oh boy. The Garo Master. Whoa! This guy's a lot more skilled than his uh, pupils. Well, hello, he is a master. Just so you're gonna need the funny hood. Oh, actually, there's another thing you can do. Oh, oh, wait, wait until I make some. Wait, wait, wait until I make next to no headway. Well, swords aren't gonna do it. And, of course, uh. Whoops. Yep. Not even, even without L targeting. Yeah, I think it is if, you're, if you got the bunny hood, you can just run circles around them. But, there's another option. Who needs swords? <laughs> Yeah, just, just do this. Yeah. 
first. On our arrival, you were spectacular. If you shoot that which releases the sacred golden light into the bloodstained red emblem outside the temple, it shall rearrange things in which the earth is born in the heavens and the moon is born on the earth. Do not forget these words. I die shall leave no corpse. This time he uses practical means. He blows himself up. That is the law of Oscaro. All right. Whoa! This, this time around, that's, that's actually meaningful. It's time to shine brighter. There's the warrior of light demands it. Yes, we got the light arrows. Once again. And sadly, their last. Sadly, their last use will be in Wind Waker. Well, what, by us, that is. Afterwards, it's something that only Zelda can use. Yep. Yeah, it, it took me a while to figure this bit out. Apparently, you're gonna need the hook shot for this one. Oh. Greetings, Princess Zorizari. Yeah. Right. Yeah. One thing from Twilight Princess. The helm source? Yeah. No, those that's just a hip loop. A what? A hip loop. We fought them in Woodfall. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I know that you fought them in Woodfall, but. I thought and the Elder Sword is actually quite an old, uh, quite an old enemy from Link to the Past. Anyway, you take their mask and they're weak just like they always have been. Would have been interesting if we fought actual Helm Swords in this era. And yet they appear in Twilight Princess. A Helm Sword King in 3D oh. would have been epic. And here is the Igor. I looks like an enemy you fight in. Actually, yeah, it reminds me of my guy from season one of Power Rangers. It does. Incidentally, he was a monster boss in the Super NES game. Yes. Stage three, actually. Yes, I was gonna say stage two. No, stage two was the uh, was some kind of troll. Oh, really? Don't be shy. And of course, if you leave them alone, they will... There we go. Heh, <laughs> red eyes. Use arrows. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh... It removes redness and has the ingredients to kill your arse. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Well, the difference is clear. Bow and arrows. Oh, we're back at the entrance. You know what that means. Oh, burgers are done. <laughs> okay. Nice. <laughs> Home. <laughs> Uh, nice! Flip jump to the ladder grab! Oh, I missed it. I was looking at the chair at the time. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're outside again. Yep, and we're gonna go higher. Oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta make sure you actually can flip this. Oh, there we go. All we need is one clear shot. All you need is a single totem to get at the sigil, and the fun begins. And, and of all the usable totems, we gotta use Dink. Uh... That one. That. Nah. You don't need to use either of them. All you need to do is get on one of the uh, two blocks and shoot it from there. Or that. You know, doesn't hurt to be careful. 
Just saying. Super Saiyan! Huh? I have no idea either. You haven't... You don't know the memes of... I just, I'm just saying? Like saying from Dragon Ball yes. Z? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. okay then, Super Saiyan. Jeez. Alright, alright, alright. I didn't quite get the joke there. Trifling. Alright. Now we need one good shot. Yeah, apparently we do need to move this block because, uh, or maybe not. I don't know. I, I was confused. Cause That's basically how you've been for the entire run. I'm not. I, I'm not trying to be mean. That's you've said that a lot for this, during this run. Eh. What the hell? Ah! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> And now we get a weird inverse soundtrack. Mm -hmm. With some weird shimmering effects. <laughs> and some of the instrumentation reversed. Welcome to the inverted stone tower. <laughs> yes, we're back inside. And yes, you need to flip the temple to access the boss rematch pad for this uh, dungeon. That, and to get all the fairies. Now we don't need the mirror shield for that anymore. It's a giant skull. <laughs> More or less, yeah. All right. <sighs> Whoops! Didn't mean for that to happen. Falling up. <laughs> when the hell did you get a hold of my Terraria gravitation potions? <laughs> uh, magic. And gathering. <laughs> <laughs> and oddly enough, there are new obstacles where they weren't where, where they weren't before. And you remember those rooms where there was lava on the ground? It's on the ceiling. <laughs> Something I should note about the light arrows, if you kill an undead enemy, that's Gibdos, Rededs, any form of bubble, you will get a, uh, I believe a 50 rupee. Yes, you will. I, I actually exploit this. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, I already hit that before. Oh well. Wait for that to fade and then. There we go. Can we. Whoa! Whee! Weird? That was weird. Whee! <laughs> Yeah, this is another deck area. And the camera work is kinda wonky right now. Yeah, quite. Oh, whoop. I wonder how to stock up in arrows. Oh, hello. Hook shot. Up on him really stealth layup. Eh. 
Yeah. Screw stealth. Bye bye. I hear bubbles. They're down there. Mm hmm. They're in that sealed passage. Right. Come on, leap of uh, faith. Um. Nope. Too light. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah. When I'm pausing, I'm constantly kind of trying to figure out what to do next. So, from some people, it might get a bit annoying, but... Eh. Yeah. Uh. The Water Temple is where good OTLPs go to die. Stone Tower Temple is where good MMLPs go to die. Sorry, folks, but if you're looking for excitement in this place, well... I'm sorry, but your uh, entertainment is in another temple. Whoopsies! Oh, oh, that would have been awesome if you got bounced in the other direction. Oh well, <laughs> you know them and their you know them and their wonky detection and stuff. Yeah, there's a there's a, there's a chest in there. Mm. I already hit that. But there is a sun thing we didn't hit earlier. Mm. Right there. Mm. Oh boy. Ooh. <laughs> and we got nine. Yay, where's Sergnal? Well, she's currently in another climate. Maybe she's maybe she's uh, trolling the Gorons at Snowhead. <laughs> Could be. And another chest, this time with a small key. Huh. Alright, here we are. Use an open lock door. You can use the key only in this dungeon. Um. Okay. Here's the thing, though. If the keys are shaped the same, and the locks are shaped the same, why the hell can't we use small keys in other dungeons? Go fig. Because they made it so that you can't. Game mechanics for the lose. Seriously, folks, this this is just as it's just just as boring as Water Jumbo, if not more boring. Let's let's have a poll. This dungeon more boring or less boring than the Water Temple? Anyone want to get your two cents? Hey, sure, I guess this one is more boring. This is definitely more boring. At least the water temple had you always moving around. This one, well, you're, you are moving around, except uh, up, down, and all around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Evil grin. Upside down grin. Yep. It's a creepy grin. Although there was one, there was a door up there we didn't check though. Oh well. Um, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh. Well, not that way. Ah! 
No, nope, you gotta uh. get with arrows. Besides, there's nothing in here anyway. The plus is those Dexy hands don't cause any damage. Uh. 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 Nope. Even even back attacks won't work. For some odd reason. As if the mask gives them complete and total immunity. Whoa. Uh. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, wasn't going that way anyway. Can't solve that problem. Oh great, more more bombs. Bombs. Oh. Nope. No dice. Nope. Can't let you do that. Star Fox. <laughs> You know, maybe I'll do a new Star Fox game on the Wii U. I mean, it's possible, ain't it? Well, they have been planning to uh, make a new Star Fox game that invalidates all of, virtually all of Command. Validates? Invalidates. Invalidates. So, it's short, non-canon. Well, no, We're gonna get it. another Star Fox game. The except, except, it's, except it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be canon. And somehow we don't flip the whole dungeon around. Okay. Somehow this room is separate from all the other rooms. Well, that's one way of doing it. And oh great, I sense mini boss. <laughs> Let's see. There's two jellies, and uh, they both contain magic and arrows. Oh great, this puzzle. You gotta get this to a pressure switch uh, all the way on the other end. Mm -hmm. Right over there. Nice. Granted, this annoyed me. Double whammy. Double whammy all the way across the sky. <laughs> Money's gotta be around here somewhere. <laughs> Boing. Yeah, so come back in about 40, 40 minutes, and, uh, well, actually 50 minutes, and we'll pretty much be at the boss fight. In the meantime, I'm gonna go hunting for stray fairies. Mm. In fact, I believe, I, I got a hunch. Our next mini-boss is Wizrobe. Probably. It's not even a mini-boss. It's more just, more or less just, uh... You don't even get the mini boss music. Yep. Lame. <laughs> the wizard has fallen from grace. Ow! Ah! We need to not get up there. Up right there. Yeah, I think I'm beginning to see the solution right here. Really now? Yes. First. Right here. Alright. Look at this. Ba bum Slowly but surely, we're gonna get this. And we're gonna finish. And 
this will take us pretty much right over there. Yeah, that's another minor mechanic. You gotta flip certain rooms around. Uh-huh. Now, uh, people who are sticklers for detail will note that the tower was not actually flipped. All of the individual rooms were flipped. Which, of course, makes no sense. But then again, we're dealing with Eldritch Abominations. This is technically an Eldritch location. And I... By Jove, we've got it! Hmm. How about that, eh? Uh-oh, you're about to get squished. Meh. Get jellied! Oh, thank you! <laughs> that works. Jelling <laughs> out the butt. Eh, whatever. There he is. Oh boy. No mini boss music this time, and you can lay waste to him with the light arrows. Which I'm about to, and pay attention, as always, pay attention to the map. Yeah, I think two or three hits will finish him off with the light arrows. Unfortunately, he's still got to do his uh, multiple clone thing. Um, okay. Uh, Four yeah, you'll notice lava's dripping from the ceiling. Oh, hi. Take that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I Jump think you hear there. me. I was like, ah, ah, ah. I think you hear me in the knee a few times. <laughs> <laughs> well, this time, this time with my sword. Well, like the last time you fought him, you hit him in the knee a few times. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> the joke's kinda done to death, Arrow. Just saying. No, I wish you'd be serious. Hmm. Yep, it's gonna be uh, the second day by the time we finish this dungeon. Great pose! Yay, ghosts. Meh. I ain't afraid no ghost. <laughs> we ain't scared no ghost. Uh, yeah, don't mind it. the um, occasional Skyrim clips, but eh. We, we gotta make this part somewhat entertaining. I guess uh, Link is hearing uh, adventures from uh, beyond his own plane of existence. Finally killed that vampire. Man, those things are tough. What do you expect? The vampires! True, and the higher level ones that get added with the Dawn Guard plugin are mean. If you don't have magic, you're screwed against them. Uh, that goes without saying, considering that in most most lore, vampires have next to infinite physical strength and um, very you know a very good prowess with magic. The problem is they like to. They like to hide, they like to back up so melee characters have next to no chance to actually hit them. Hey, Death Armos! Oh. That's how you kill them. Like so. So much so, you're gonna need to flip them over. Make sure their head touches the ground. Hmm. Like so. Oh, uh, alternately, I found this out later, you got to use the stone mask. Yeah, the stone mask work on, works on anything that's not a mini-boss, a, Geru a uh, Gerudo... Uh, actually, no, that, that counts as a mini-boss. Mini-bosses and boss enemies are the only things that uh, are not affected by the stone mask. Just about every small fry enemy it'll trick. There we go. Now we need to put out this fire. And a fancy flip for no reason. Yeah. Mm. 
Uh, ah, there we are. More switches. And we're gonna need the Elegy of Emptiness, I bet. Of course. Yep. Uh. This again. Nothing to fear in the void. Damn, I think I came pretty close to imitating the actual voice actor. Um, uh, maybe. Gerald C. Rivers voicing X Death, aka the voice of um, General M. Bison. Oh joy! So he has the most recent voice of Bison. Uh, no, they, we already seen that cutscene. Wait. You know, actually, I think the magic bubbles can, uh, nope. cause that. No? Not enough range. No point. They have to collide with each other. It's almost impossible to get all three of them to... Oh, hi, little another Igor. Yeah, he's kind of angry that he can't hit us, so he's just practicing. Mm -hmm. Uh, practice for when we eventually do kill him. Yeah, it's amusing that you can see the sky. You look down and you see the skies. Is it... I'm sorry, Mike. Is this what the people in Australia have to deal with? <laughs> I am so sorry, Mike. I really am. Uh, I'm just gonna write that off as being uh, something and move on. That, maybe that's what I'm gonna do. Ah, bubbles! Well, basically because the, the, the uh, Australia is upside down compared to us. Profit! You get purples when you kill the undead with the light. Into the light! Yes, oh. for the light! Oh, I sense many boss. Suspicious video game generosity alert. Hello. Oh, are we gonna fight a vampire? More or less. Hello, Gomez. Kinda derpy looking face though. You guys die. You're not dead. You're not nearly also not enough to be Thanatos. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you, gotta, you gotta use either bombs or light arrows. To... It's like a truck, though. Very much so. This is perhaps the most damaging mini boss in the game. Ah, I'm just going all out on this guy. Yeah, he'll, every time he takes a hit, he'll do that spinning scythe attack, if I'm not mistaken. Gotta make sure bad bats keep on, uh. Pretending him. Ow. Well, you're being extremely reckless. Oh, uh, hey! It works! True. <laughs> There's the boss key. Should we choose to pursue the boss now? But I think you're going to be smart. And get some Chateau Romani first. No. I go for the straight fairies. Well, you should have gotten some Chateau Romani. It would have made things a little less hectic. Actually, I didn't need it. Fair even, if, even if I had it, I didn't need it. Fair enough. Well done. Nah, the boss was pathetically easy and very fast for me to kill. Anyway, we got the final boss key! Well, of the four temples, that is. Nope, this is- this actually is the final boss key! Huh. No, no more dungeons after this! Awesome. Oh. Okay. 
You know what? I'm just gonna kill them. Save my magic. Besides, I need health. <laughs> there we go. I'll take health over money. Very true. Oh, great! And sadly, I've forgotten all this time I could use the Song of Soaring to return to the entrance. Wow. <laughs> I, I, I've forgotten about that, okay? Yeah. I, yeah. What? Hey, you I'm, I, I am holding my tongue, Adam, okay? You Out of respect. Well, hey, not many people wouldn't, wouldn't realize that. Even first time players. This way. It's the way of the east. Oh. Hmm. We're gonna need a. Uh... Thank you. Let's see. Gazontai. Thank you. We're not gonna need a sneeze. We're not. We don't need Typhon. Wahaha. <laughs> Let's see. Hey 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 hey. <laughs> and and Tattle is actually paying attention to that one chest. Hmm. I didn't notice this until later. I it's just <sighs> if you're gonna go ahead and say it, say it. Nah. Saying it would be like being a gag horse. More or less. And now... Oh. What's this way? Ah, Igor. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna use light arrows. There we go. Blinding lights! Blinded by the lights. <laughs> I know Bo's gonna kill me. What? I know Bo's gonna kill me. <laughs> anyway, Why? Because he hates lightning. Oh. Giant's mask. Yes. You can only use that in one specific room. This dungeon's boss room. And unfortunately, we can't access the boss from here. We have to come back here to get all the fairies, and then I somehow get frustrated trying to make my way back to the entrance. Okay, Adam, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask this. Did, ha, have you used the Song of Soaring to get back to the entrance of a dungeon before now? No. Okay, then I can understand you not knowing that that's how it can be used. I'll either I never did, or it's been too long. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that, uh, no, I never did. Well, anyway, time to flip the tower again. Topsy turvy. <laughs> flip Whoops! It, flip it, dude. Hi, oh. Moon. <laughs> you're Hi, look Moony. You're looking rather big. Er. It's only the first day. I know. I said bigger. Oh. Oh, oh, I guess that works. Splat. And guess what? We have to reform the bridge. 
More time, more interesting crap. Why couldn't they put the owl statue in front of the door? Because they wanted you to suffer! At this point, I'm not sure if that isn't the case. <laughs> Let's see, this one goes first? I believe. Well, be grateful. At least this, this will all be over in roughly 30 minutes. Hmm. It's just a matter of finding something to talk about in the meantime. And besides, after this part is the finale. The final cycle. Yep. What the hell? I did play the song! Ay, stupid pitch. But yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think I ever showed the uh, the Deku totem because it's it's useless. <laughs> Makes you wonder how exactly did he string that fishbone guitar. No idea. Maybe it's best we don't know. Right. It'd probably be for the best. We, we. All right, let's just go in already. Light arrow. Go into the giant mouth. Well, apparently it's hungry. Nom 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 nom. There we go, here's the chest. Ah, number 12. There's only three more to find and then... And then by just by, by some... I don't know why, but it, it just then occurred to me to use the Song of Soaring after I got on all 15. Mm. After wandering around like a dunce. Dang it. When haven't I? Yeah, I mean, th this run has been a compendium of confusion for you. No offense. What do you expect? This is the Zelda game I played the least. The 3D Fair one. Fair enough. Fair enough. Next to Wind Waker. I was more used to OOT. <laughs> Oh, great! Mercifully, uh, yeah, by the way, we gotta do this again. We gotta use all the, the totems. Get in there. But, I, like, isn't there another way? Do I really have to waste my time with that? And as it turns out... You... Don't. I. Oh, I don't. I guess not. There's still a treasure chest to find. Yeah, I'm wondering where is that chest? Probably underwater. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to bet it's underwater. Well, I guess I'll have to come back for it. Mm. Oh, not doing this again! <laughs> we don't have to. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna wait until I actually grab the, uh... Let's see, where is the other chest? Yeah, it's gotta be underwater. Well, hopefully in part 13 you'll put the reins on Skyrim. It's just that you wanted to use it for this dungeon? Huh. Well, this dungeon is boring. 
Fortunately, the final hour isn't going to be that bad. It's, it's not quite the 13th hour, but it'll do. Would've been interesting if it was the 13th hour. Only one mask left to get. Yep. Whoa. Dark. Brooding. No, seriously, it's freaking dark. There you are. Oh, there we go. Now it's bright. Oh, was bright. There you go. Uh, it's because it's because of dawn. That's why. All right. Fortunately, we don't have to do the sun blocks again. I'm wondering. I'm trying to figure out which. I'm trying to remember which one, which rooms had which chests. I'm like, do I have to do this again? Don't tell me. Oh joy! <laughs> Wait, I don't. First of all, yeah, <laughs> watcher. What? Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, guess what? But we gotta do this again. We gotta do this again. Just to get every fairy. Huh. I I got a feeling someone was gonna be wanting to want us to get all fifteen fairies in this temple. You mentioned you did not like the um Whoop Mentioned done like what? The strength fairy system? You yeah, you did not like the Great Fairy Sword, so... But I had a feeling that... Well, since I got so many fairies, might as well grab them all. I mean, I'm, I'm already this far. Eh. Eh, burn. Ouch. First, fortunately, I think it was around um, an hour and 53 minutes, I actually finally used the Song of Soaring to get back to the entrance. Mm. Whoa! Oh! Pixel friggin' perfect. Pixel flipping perfect! Oh, damn. <laughs> That works. This is the boss room, believe it or not. I roop. Interesting. Yep. And there's one more to find. Huh? I was just clearing my throat. Oh. Do, 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 do. Oh, great! I got a, a weekly subscription update. Woohoo! Mm. But do I really care? Not really. Meh, I'll check it out anyway. Yeah. Come on, face me. There we go. Yep, final one is in here. But I think we gotta go the other way. We gotta enter. We gotta enter this from another way. Yep. We can't go in through here. We gotta do it. We gotta do the friggin' pressure plates again. Mmm. God, flip it. Flip it good. Down, down. Ow, ow, ow. Come on, get down here. Get. 
Okay, the lag playing YouTube and Skyrim at the same time is just atrocious. I I can't even friggin' use a bow correctly. Turning this game off. Sadly, don't worry, we're almost done. We're about a quarter of the way there. Hold on. But yeah, we gotta do this. Ow. Fortunately, we don't have to just... Oh yeah, first we gotta take care of the Garmanis. Yeah, let's get this switch to press. <laughs> nice, he just... He just... He, he just, uh... Body slam. Body slam. <laughs> More or less. Yeah, I suppose. Except without the, the slam. All he does is just go... And, uh... That's that Rocky Hyde take the hit for him. That's pretty much how Gorons operate. If something's too much, they just curl up and let the let the world roll them. Or let the let the world roll on by. Mm -hmm. Although I guess that's what happened, considering uh, there, you don't see that many Gorons in Wind Waker. Well, they're a heavy rock-like race, and the world floods. Well, yeah. To the point where nothing but the mountains are left. Death Mountain, what's left of Death Mountain, is now populated by the Ritos. And the Gorons probably had a depopulation bomb-like effect after they lost Dodongo's Cavern. So... They lost it? Oh, yeah. Well, oh, yeah, yeah, it flood. flooded. Duh. So, the few that survived have made their way as traitors. Okay. Yep, it's uh, the next room that we need to go grab that final fairy. Ah, light arrow. Need it. It would be interesting to see what this game with updated mechanics. It would. <laughs> All right, and bombs. Bye bye. Let's see. Wow. Uh, ah. <laughs> that was perfect. Per <laughs> perfectly fail. Anyway. And now we need this. Whoa, the void! The void spirit! Oh yes, we need some blocks for this. I think. Oh wait, no, we just go back there. <laughs> oh, the map is... How you like them apples, baby? Oh And he does it again. <laughs> I don't care. One more for the road. <laughs> and now begins, uh... Yeah, how much oxygen you have depends on how many hearts you've got left. Mm-hmm. That's filled hearts, by the way. Yeah. Okay, now we just need to find a way to get back up there. Nope, dolphin jumps won't help ya. Not enough, uh... Ow. Uh. Nope, we're gonna have to find a way back there through the entrance. At least... Although I don't know why I struggled with that, but... Eh. Go ahead, grab me. Whoa! Hello? Oh, I, I, I used my barrier. I killed it just as it threw me. <laughs> uh. Let's see. Nope, just Beemos. Mm. Just Beemos to kill, but no. 
And I guess this was just one way. Oh, yeah, here's where I finally did it. And I was like, I don't know why, it just came, it just came at me. I was like, maybe we'll work in dungeons. I was like, whoa. Uh, I guess it's like uh, 12 minutes later that I actually use it again. Oh well, at least we can get the ferry now without any trouble. I mean, honestly, in all the times I played Majora's Mask, I never used the Song of Soaring to warp out of warp to the entrance. Because huh. I would, because I would have figured it had no use. Well, I'm glad I was proven wrong. Hey, Watcher. Yeah? Deb asked you a question in the chat. Oh, I see. Hang on. Don't worry, folks. In the final cycle, we'll be, be, we'll be much better prepared. And, uh, I don't really feel that much with, uh, the final element with the final part of the of this well not this but uh, of the um, final area mm. yeah I'm gonna kill that Banju with the how close are we to the boss we are roughly 10 minutes away okay that works I'm gonna go heat up the leftovers from lunch okay <laughs> Yeah, I believe we're pretty much ten minutes away. Hmm, roughly. Now we can access the final ferry. And then begin now begins ten minutes of me finding my way back. Even though I could have already done so. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> Punching uh, plants. There we are. Go past the Beamos. We got him. I think it was at this point I couldn't figure out where, how to get, actually get to the boss room. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, I believe right now we, yeah, we do need to flip. Flip it good. Whoops. Oopsies. No, that doesn't work. Um, I'll be using it. I'll do this anyway. When you're in the mood for a fresh, fresh fish, get Whataburger's water catch. Yeah, we're yeah. I got all the fifty, all fifty various. All that's left is the flip the uh, thing. But for some odd reason, I couldn't find the boss room at at at, the, at this point in the in the cycle. Don't worry, it'll take us roughly eight minutes. I don't know why. Lack of hindsight. Hmm. Sky. And now, 
Into the upside down mouth. Rawr. Now it actually looks like a, a mouth, a, a, a face. Mm. Yep. It didn't occur to me to actually look up. Because there was a chest we could hook shot onto. Yeah, I was trying to center myself so I could move. Mm. Doesn't hurt to chop up for extra magic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> chop up. Mm. Um. Well, don't worry, folks. You won't get you, you won't get any of this in the Windraker one. I promise. Well, that's probably going to be live, and I'm going to be able to steer him in the right direction. Maybe. Yeah, probably so. I mean... You do seem to do a little better whenever it's live, and I'm able to guide you around. Uh, I suppose... Boom! Whoopsies! Well, that's one that way... That didn't quite work. Well, but that's one way of getting rid of a, of a bomb. Just use yourself as a detonator. Uh. Okay. Ah! I almost made it on there. Mm. Oh well. There we go. I think I know why, because I couldn't see it, because of the camera. Yep. Yeah. Ow. Ow. <laughs> yeah, that dripping lava hurts. Now, what you're supposed to do is flip the place a few times. I'm just going at invincibility frames. Oh, wait. Maybe the tower does flip as we do this, since it's only limited to this room. And this room, too. Mm. But we don't know that for sure. Oh, thanks again! <laughs> Who knew that books could be so helpful and yet so dumb? Ooh, what's this? Yeah, I thought it was the boss room, but no, it's not. We still need to use the boss gate. Nope, it's just a pit. <laughs> oh boy. I guess I'm kind of comfortable in this situation. Uh, this is what I get for being stupid. What? I'm not afraid to admit it. I, I wasn't gonna say nothing. I know some people might. Some people in the audience. That's people in the audience's problem. Well, but then again, I worry too much. You definitely do. Mm. Well, what can I say? People's feedback matters to me. Ow. Fair enough. Eh, sometimes it matters to me, and sometimes I just don't care. <laughs> and somehow, it reaches over there. I guess it just had this enough range. Huh. Yeah, I think it was around this time that, uh, after I come back to this area, I was like, wait a minute, I'm totally off course. One mask to get. We'll get it. In order to get it, we need to sacrifice all of our other masks. Well, 20 of them.
Uh, yep, I think it was around this time, actually. After I killed some bubbles later. Nope, can't make it this way, but hey, maybe I can just make these things explode. There we go. Aww. Nope, see, watch this. The magic bubbles do not reach. Huh. Okay. Just a thought. It sucks you could never get all three. Yeah, I think it's impossible. Don't worry, we'll get this done before the day is over. We won't we won't spend until the final day to do this. Heaven forbid. Yeah, definitely here. That's what I realized. Wait a minute. I'm totally off course. <laughs> but I want her to get some profit in the meantime. Mm. Ah. <laughs> God, just before it vanished. Nice. Yep, this is where I fight Gomez. Mm. No, you want to find the Garo Master's old room. Yeah, that's why I pointed out earlier. But hey, more profit. Now, <laughs> Fortune, you can still use your bone arrow when you're jinxed. There we go. Now, warp out. Yes. Okay, now, sorry for that stupid, unnecessary delay, folks. Now it's time for the boss. Well, I see we haven't made any progress yet. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. Priority set? Hmm. I see we haven't made any progress. No, we are making progress. Right about here. There you go. Now... Remember that Igor that was uh, practicing his uh, shooting technique? This was it. Now they gotta fight the prick. Very shortly. No, we don't. What the? You tell me I gotta go below? <laughs> oh well. Okay. Mal. Right, seriously, I didn't see any way to get it in there. Mm. But don't worry, we'll get there. Yeah, I was like, no, I don't see any other way. I'm gonna have to use that chest. But, uh, I don't know, although I could have sworn there was another way in there. No, I think there's only one way to get into that access room. And this time, I actually avoided the bombs! <laughs> I 
Alright. Uh, this time around, I actually avoided the bombs on the way here. Huh. Yeah, I think... I was like, okay... I'm st yeah, I guess, I, did, I think at this point I was like, I'm still lost. And... So I'm gonna try to do that room one more time. Entrance, please. Okay then, I think now this now now it's finally time. Now, do you are you doing something? Yeah, with we're somebody doing else? Okay. Because I'll turn the food off and then uh, I'll back up and I get. Right. Yes, that's his mom. Uh, okay. Hello, ma'am. I think she already left. Oh. They can't. She can't hear you because I have my headphones on. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nope. There is no other way. Uh, oh! Another chest we can use. Now this is a bit tricky. You gotta somehow uh, hookshot past that uh, rotating spike bar. But unfortunately there is a hookshot target right up there. Nope. Can't even force your way through it. It's it's an it's an it's an, it's just ah blocking your way and there finally it's boss time all right before we go in here we go and hello. Desert out of frickin' nowhere! Hello? Uh, um, um... Retarded boss out of frickin' nowhere! Two giant moldorms. Actually, I would say landmolas. Uh, yeah. yeah, two giant landmolas. Giant masked insect twin mold. It's a pair of masked landmolas. Oh. Be my hero grow! <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. By the way, in order to grab the magic jars that you can get from destroying these pillars, you gotta be shrunk. <laughs> you know, I'm, I do, I imagine you can find some Chateau Romani for this fight. But yeah, no, I didn't need it. Anyway, the head and tails are vulnerable. Everything else is armored. Now, it is possible to fight these things with arrows, but... or not, with Didi's mask, but... Not recommended. Yeah, this is the one boss that this Didi's mask is useless for. Here we go. Magic refill. There's the, where's the tail? There's the tail. This will take a while, but it's very easy. There we go. One hit. Bam, 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 bam. Come on. I just, there we go. One down. And that's green down. Where's that blue? I don't know. For the sake of consistency, I'm just gonna say it's blue. Cutscene kindly end. Thank you. Uh, something interesting to note: Link's footsteps sound like a clock. Interesting. Yeah, I think this is the red one. Yeah. Oh, please. Just 
Go away already! Your dungeon sucked! <laughs> Roll over and play dead, please. Thank you. quicker. There we go. Final heart container. And Twin Molds remains. We are done. We've got the four giants back free and fighting. Yep. Which means now we can do one last cycle. Or we could have ended the game right here. <laughs> <laughs> It's always good to postpone things. That's true. Well, we helped all of you. Call us. Yes. We gotta. Yeah. Yeah. We'll call you from atop the clock tower. You don't want to? Well, guy's still their friend. Forgive your friend. Forgive a friend. What do you think? The sign maker? <laughs> Only someone who watches Nakatalili is gonna get that one. Whoa. What is that? Uh. That's the evil that came out of the tower. We can actually do one last cycle and finish this. Oh yes. And now for something completely not worth it. I didn't mind the item you get from this. And a great fairy that sh really shouldn't have existed. But, what can you do? But seriously, for doing that dungeon, this wasn't worth it. Yeah. The Great Fairy of Kindness. This, the Fairy Sword. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> set it to C to use it. Most powerful of all blades, but it's a sea item. You can do wield. No, <laughs> no, you can't. You, you can switch. You can swap blade. You can swap attacks with it. You can, you can choose. That's what I meant by dual wield. Nope, you can't dual wield. It's too heavy. Okay. The great fairy sword is a two-handed sword. Okay. All right. Let's get out of here. Deposit my loot. <sighs> Let's bring this cycle to an end already. This cycle sucked. It did. <laughs> well, it's not just because of me. It's the dungeon itself. It sucked. What's this? Kevin's like hugs? Huh? Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
weird Walthus Club in jokes. Trust me. You're better uh, off not knowing. Oh, yes, I'm going back here so I can get my magic restored. Because apparently the Great Fairy didn't bother doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Help me! There you go. Sorry, already helped you in the previous cycle. Yep. Twice. Yeah. Well, at least the first time around was worth it, considering we got magic power out of it. Yep. Second time around, a mask. Mmm. <laughs> Alright, yep, the there's... most unholy of all the masks. Mm. <laughs> yep, there's the Great Fairy Sword. In fact, you don't, if you know what you're doing, you don't even need it for the final fight. Yeah, it's mostly just... If he's gonna give you something to fight him with, you may as well make him eat... You may as well make him, uh... lay in the grave he's dug. We'll see. Look at you! 1244 rupees. Alright. How much? How much? How much? This much. 1697. And we are done! Alright, with that being said, see you next time for the final cycle. See you over there. I dare say, Stone Tower should crumble to the ground. <laughs> it probably does at some point. Yeah, topsy-turvy puzzles be damned.